So what if you want to graph this in Tableau? Well, what we're going to do here is we're going to write the line write.csv. And then we're going to have a parentheses. And then we're going to write the data frame that we've been using up to this point that has all the data for all the passes. So we're going to write the name of the data frame, then parentheses. And then in quotation marks, you want to write in the path location of where you want to store your spreadsheet. Because what we're doing right now is we get, we're going to export our data to a spreadsheet and R needs to know that place. So up to this point, we've been writing in the script, but we haven't actually saved it. And to save it in the folder that we created specifically, we're going to go here to session, set working directory, choose directory. And you want to choose the folder that you created. So here is my folder. Open. And if you click files, you should see your folder set up there. And if you click save, you should see your script now being saved there. And you can see I saved it 703, so it is saved 703. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get the uh, location, the path file location. So we're going to go to the script in your folder. We're going to go to properties. We're going to go to details and this folder path. We're going to copy this straight and paste it here. So mine is D colon colon or say colon. And then every single time you see a forward slash, we're going to double the amount. So we're going to have two forward slashes. And then we're going to have R forward slash. And we're going to have pass flow tutorial. And we're going to have dash dash. And then we're going to have the name of the spreadsheet. So I want to name my spreadsheet pass flow. And then we're going to add dot CSV. And then the quotation marks. And add a comma row dot names equals false. And if you run this line of code, and if you go into the folder, you can see a brand new CSV file has been created recently too. 704, 704. So let's open that so that we can look at the data. And it should have the same column names as we did before in the past flow. So we do have it x, y, and x, and y count p. And then we're going to add a column name called ID. And in it, we're going to have equals row and then row minus one. So this formula right here. And you should get one here. This is the formula equals row parentheses minus one. And then we're going to go here until we you see a black cross and we're going to drag that black cross all the way down till here and should go from one numerically se uh, sequential order. And then we're going to save that as an Excel workbook. So we're going to come here and we're going to save that as an Excel workbook. So it should automatically do that. And then we do save and then it's being saved. Save that. Let's close it. So now we can open Tableau. So let's open the public edition. That's what I use. We go to Microsoft Excel. We're going to click the file that we just created, the XLX, the Excel workbook file. And you should see your ID column made along with the other columns that we made. And then we're going to drag this pass flow here. We're going to say drag table to union. We're going to drag that. And you should see two more columns being made sheets and table name. So we're going to go to sheet one here. And then we're going to make a calculated field. And we're going to have the words pass X. And then this is the code that we're going to put. It's not even code. It's just pseudocode. We're going to put if we'll put T and you should see the word table name pop up. Click that equals single quotes pass flow. And this is the name of your spreadsheet that we have. Then 
n x and then else end x and then end we're going to apply this and click OK. We're going to duplicate it. We're going to edit it. Pass Y. And then and Y. And then we're going to drag the pass X to the columns row. And then the pass Y to the row. And you'll, you'll see a dot here but we're going to make this into a full graph, don't worry. We will drag this ID into detail, and you should see all these points come up. These are the starting points of the, of the uh, passes. And then we're going to go to Marks, click this down button, and we're going to click Line. It should look something like this. We're going to drag table names onto Path, and we have something that looks like our um, pass flow, but not quite yet. We need to also, we need to first put the orientation, so the arrow part. So there's no real way to put arrows, but we can, there's a nice get around. We can drag table name to size, and it'll show a pulsating. So the, so the more fatter end is the ending, the receiving location, and the narrow end is the start. And then, we need to put on an actual football pitch. So we're going to go to map, background images, and then pass flow. And we're going to click add image. We're going to browse our options. And we're going to click football pitch template. So the template should be here now. The pass X, we're going to write negative 5 to 125. And the bottom is going to be from negative 5 to 85 going to apply and you should see it's on here now if you zoom out the pitch comes into fruition but we're still not quite done yet this still doesn't look like it because as you can see the the y scale has not been reversed so we're going to right click the y coordinate scale edit axis and then we're going to click the reversed and reverse the axis and now all the passes are in the correct location we can increase the size of the passes so they look a little bit more there we go but this still does not look as interesting as what we had here and so to get close to that what we can do is we can add the count p measure and put into color now tableau will automatically color this and at first glance this looks good we see that the highest pass is this one, and so was the brightest pass this one. So this makes sense. But we want a more better way of showing this. So we're going to go to this drop down menu. We're going to edit colors. We're going to automatic. Then we're going to scroll down to one of the palettes here sunrise to sunset diverging, where the red is more hot, the blue is more cold. We're going to use the full color range. We click apply. And there we go. We have a very close match to what we have. And you can we can hit the full screen button. And we can expand this so that it can be a bit more bigger to see. And now we have, again, Messi's pass flow map in Tableau.